hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to install and configure the proxmox vm virtual machine server on your old laptop or pc so i'll also demonstrate how to install windows 11 on that vm server so make sure that follow the tutorial step by step till the end at first you just need to open your browser and open google.com and search on their proxmox vm after go to that first link you just need to click on downloads button and after that under downloads you will get poxmox virtual environment so click on that and under poxmox virtual environment you will get proxmox ve iso installer so simply download that one next you just need to go to your google.com and search on google uh, rufus which is bootable usb creator and go to this first link and after that download the rufus uh, portable or standard version from rufus website so after download proxmox iso file and rufus you just need to uh, open rufus software on your computer and after that you just need to insert your usb pen drive and after insert your usb pen drive you just need to click on select to select that proxmox iso file which you have downloaded after select you just need to click on open and click on start to create a bootable USB. Now you just need to turn on your laptop or PC and after that press F10 key to go to your BIOS setup window. Now go to boot option and check secure boot is enabled or disabled. If it is enabled, you just need to disable your secure boot. After that press F10. To save your BIOS settings and after that press enter from your keyboard. And now I will insert my Ethernet cable to my laptop. After that I will insert my USB pen drive, Proxmox USB pen drive which I have created already. So I will insert that one on my laptop. Now I will press F9 key to boot from my USB pen drive. After boot from your pen drive you will get this window where you will see uh, Proxmox graphical installer terminal I will select graphical first option and I will press enter after that I have to select I agree and I have to select my hard drive from here now I have to choose my country and the time zone and keyboard layout now i have to put my password and after that my put my email id over here now here on this window you will get eno1 and wlo1 en is ethernet and wl for wi-fi lan so i'll select over here eno1 and after that i'll type the host name which is localhost you can put any so after that on ip address if the ip address is not taking automatically you have to type it manually your local range of ip and after that you have to click on install after installation done it will restart your pc and it will give you one ip address with port number and you just need to open that ip address with now what you have to do, you just need to open your browser and type that your Proxmox IP address with port number. So in my case, it, it is 192.168.0.160 and port number is make sure that 8006. After that, click on advanced and proceed to that website. Now here you just need to put your username and password. The username is root always and the password which you have set during installation. Relame you have to select here Linux PAM standard authentication. Make sure that make sure that you have selected that. Now click on OK. Now on your left side you will see the your server localhost and select your server. Now you need to select ISO image images from your uh, right side as you can see here is the option. Now click on upload first. So first I will upload one Windows 11 ISO file. So I'll click on select file 
and after that here is my windows 11 24 h2 iso file so i'll select that one and click on open after that click on upload now it will take some time to upload so you have to wait for a few seconds after upload it will take some time to upload on your proxmox server from here you can easily check your status and after done it will show you like status ok as you can see and also task ok that's mean upload is completed successfully now close this window on your right side you will create one small icon is called create vm so click on that option now on name i will select over here so uh, windows 11 and on ways i have to select my iso file so click on iso image and select that iso image which i have uploaded so i'll select in my case windows 11 iso file on system you don't you don't need to change anything over here so simply click on disk and here you will get option called this card so if you are using uh SS ssd on your computer then you can use that option on cores i will select here two cores and memory i will select 4 gb which is near about 4048 mb network i will not change anything and confirm then finish so before finish i will select that start after created and click on finish after done on your left side it will show your instances as you can see so click on your instance and after that click on console and it will show you your virtual machine so as you can see my windows 11 running on my poxmox virtual environment so before ending this video i would like to share few quick things with you i create high quality tech related videos every day so if you enjoy my content and want to support my work please don't forget to subscribe my channel also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content so i'll see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care